I came to the museum and saw this computer which uh, UNDP provided in 1983, and I tweeted. And then uh, you, uh, you came back to me and said that that young gentleman on the photo is this young gentleman, uh, Mr. Fuad. So before uh, we introduced this computer, I understand that the census data was processed in Sri Lanka. Tell us a little bit more about that processing. Yes, uh, actually uh, UNDP experts uh, visited the Maldives to see the uh, available data and found that it was very limited data. So, uh, I mean, advised and assisted us to have a very comprehensive census in 1977. Mm -hmm. And we conducted the data and it was almost impossible to do it manually. So UNDP again assisted us to send it to uh, Department of Census and Statistics in Sri Lanka, all the data that we collected in the Maldives. So uh, it was processed there. Uh, uh, but it costed over hundred thousand dollars that time. That it time. was a huge amount, and that was the reason why UNDP uh, thought that uh, it is not practical to spend uh, over hundred thousand dollars for every five years to uh, data processing. So uh, I mean, the, there should be uh, the uh, facilities built in the Maldives. So uh, I mean, uh, comparatively, they found. Uh, you know, it is less expensive to uh, buy a computer, mini computer, this one, and also uh, train one staff at uh, uh, U.S. Bureau of Census uh, in Washington, D.C. So I was the fortunate person to go for the training, and this is the uh, computer that we got. I think it was costing something like uh, uh, $60,000 at that time, and uh, the training and everything uh, uh, was another forty thousand dollars. So uh, altogether, it was something like you know uh, one hundred thousand. So they found that this is something which will go for a long time. Right. Uh, More but, sustainable. Yeah, and sustainable. Yeah, yeah. And it was a really great foundation uh, for the Maldives uh, to develop uh, census and statistics and uh, uh, survey processing. So before the mini computer was introduced, did you have any challenges to collect data? Uh, yes, uh, actually uh, the data were collected and uh, as I said, uh, you know, some basic tables were uh, uh, made uh, manually. The definitions were not, uh, you know, uh, uh, well maintained during that time. So that was the kind of uh, turning point, you know, to make things make international, make, uh, you know, something acceptable to the, uh, I mean, international agencies that can be compared uh, with other countries. Mm -hmm.